months ago, I decided to make my cats their own DIY water fountain. I filmed it, threw it on TikTok, and this happened. Here's the rest of the footage from that day. This mirror is dirty as shit. Damn. Today is Sunday, which means I'm having my ADHD, ADHD paralysis, paralysis again. <laughs> so you know where we're going? The thrift store. I swear the sun is always out on weekdays when I'm working all day indoors. And then on the weekends, when I'm home and I'm free, it's cloudy and depressing. Thank you, Washington. My goal is to someday work from home doing YouTube. Today being Sunday, I'm having extreme ADHD paralysis. What is my Sunday therapy? The thrift store. <laughs> Today at the thrift store, I'm going to be basically just browsing and seeing what they have. But I am also looking for pieces to a DIY project I'm working on, a cat fountain. So I already got this piece off of Amazon. It's the pump and filter, but I need a couple of bowls and other materials to really throw it all together for my crazy cattos. You're so spoiled. We are going to grab some food first, then hit the thrift. We have acquired some goodies. Naked mango shake, nut butter bar, and of course my absolute favorite, kombucha. I am obsessed with this stuff. Like I drink this stuff more than I drink water sometimes. <laughs> Another part of having ADHD is not remembering to eat. My mind is just so focused on... Whoa. A lot of the time my mind is just focused on things I have to do in the day and a lot of that is not self-care, including eating. <laughs> to the thrift we go! Did I just chip that? No. Okay. Cutie. Elementary school teacher. Does anyone else just have to dance when they eat? Like, I can never just eat something good and not, like, do a little dancey dance. It took me, like, 20 minutes going through many different aisles of bowls. I found this for the inside bowl that they actually drink out of. This is actually a cat food bowl, I think. And then for the big bowl, it, that took me forever to find. Because it can't be too tall, because they have to get their necks over it. And then I got this bowl, which is just a white plastic square bowl. I didn't love the square, but I figured it was very wide. Time to wash these. Get them all good to go. Just felt something land on me. I look over and I'm like, I see spots and color. If you've never seen what a ladybug looks like before it looks like this, it looks like an earwig. Would you like to be in my garden? Oh! It's gotta be the equivalent of falling off a skyscraper for a human. 
Rip. Oh my god. Oh, oh look, okay. Oh, you're good, you're good, you're good. Oh my, he's got it, he'll figure it out. Um, yeah, you're good. Here's what we're looking at so far. We're getting there, I do need more rocks, unfortunately, but I'm loving how this is looking. I did it, I made a little fountain. It's so cute and it's so relaxing. Now we gotta do the cat test. I actually posted this on TikTok like two months ago and I'm just putting the video together now. The TikTok blew up quite a bit. Uh, <laughs> and I think I inspired a lot of people to make cat fountains, which is awesome. The only thing I'm doing differently now is I took the rocks out because I got a lot of people saying it's not good to put real rocks in the water unless you boil the heck out of them or something. Thanks for watching this short quirky little video. Comment below if you're making your cats a cat fountain because they deserve it. And I will see you in the next video.